Hi everyone, and welcome to another killer story. Today we will explore the Waxahachie Bible College. In 1950, Jerry Lee Lewis, already an incredibly talented local music sensation, often found himself in drunken brawls and spent way too much time with the ladies. While he occasionally earned a dollar from winning talent shows or performing at local events, his dream of becoming a recording artist still seemed distant. Jerry Lee's mother, Mamie, devised a plan to rein in her son. She aspired to transform him into a respected preacher, hoping to quell his wild temperament that could lead him down a path to jail or worse. Despite Jerry Lee's stubbornness, like the good son he was, he fulfilled his mother's wishes and did so all of his life. Jerry Lee agreed with Mamie's plan, drawn to the idea of preaching and playing gospel music for a crowd. Moreover, this decision meant he no longer had to toil in the cotton fields or on his uncle's farms. Thus, he enrolled as a student at the Waxahachie Bible College, aiming for a future in service to the Lord. For a while, let's say a few weeks, Jerry Lee was dead serious about this path as his future. But then his untamable personality found its way out again. He used to sneak out at night, enjoying the nightlife, drinking, and flirting with the local ladies. While the dean was impressed by the boy's ability to preach and his incredible knowledge of the holy book, he also knew this kid could be trouble. Nevertheless, Jerry's nightly escapades never came to light, so things were going well for him. As the weeks and months passed, Jerry grew more and more bored at the Bible college. There were few things to enjoy about Waxahachie's nightlife. He had seen them all. It didn't exactly help that the way they preached at the Bible college was nothing like what he was used to at his own church, the Assembly of God, back in Faraday. The music was what he loved most about the Assembly of God church. That music was joyous and spirited. In Waxahachie, it was slow, uninspired, and clearly lacked the ability to create that special bond with God that he always felt at home. One day, Jerry was supposed to play a song during one of the services. An old gospel song called My God is Real. During rehearsals, Jerry Lee decided that he would play it the way he knew it from back home, with a stomping beat, a faster tempo, and a lot more excitement. Little did he know what he was getting himself into. On the day of the performance, Jerry Lee was sure he'd revolutionized this Bible college. He aimed to bring them the Lord's music as it should be played. So he started playing and the Holy Ghost got a hold of him. He went faster and faster through the song, throwing in the same hot piano licks that would later make him a star. The students and most of the teachers loved it. They were dancing, cheering, and when he finished, the place was drowning in applause. However, there was one face that wasn't smiling at all. The Dean's. Approaching Jerry Lee with a face as red as a tomato, the Dean told him he had now ruined this honorable Bible college. For Jerry Lee, who was already doubting whether this path would be his future, this was the moment he realized it was time to leave. He couldn't stay here. This way of believing and preaching didn't give him anything other than bad feelings. So he proposed... How about you expel me for two weeks and then I'll come back for a brand new start? Knowing the other students would be rebellious if they heard Jerry had been expelled forever, the dean agreed to this idea. When he left the main gate, Jerry Lee Lewis knew he'd never return. He had had enough of this environment. He still dreamed of singing the songs he'd learned at Haney's Big House and on the radio. Soon, He'd end up at the wagon wheel, a pivotal step in shaping the musician he would become. But that's something we'll dive deeper into during the next episode. For now, let's close today's episode by listening to Jerry Lee recreating his version of My God is Real, the performance that got him expelled from the Bible College. Thanks for listening, and until next time, we'll be back with another killer story. There are some things 
I may not know And there are some places that I can't go But I am sure of this one thing My God is real, but I can feel Him in my soul If my God is real, but He's real in my soul
Seeking he whose promise salvation And he who has promised a home And to the dark field God of wonder Yes, you could say I have probably gone astray Through trouble, trial, and darkness I'll see my Jesus someday.